So yeah, they make battery powered pellet grills, but what if you already have a pellet grill and you just want to go camping for the weekend, you want to take it along and you don't want to risk draining out whatever battery or you don't have power at the site. Here's an easy alternative for you. Now initially I decided to try this with a power tool battery just to see if that would work and I have no doubt that it would work. However, the inverter that I'm using here is just clearly rated at a different voltage. It says a max of 13.5 and I'm already pushing it with a cell that I'm using that does work. But I decided to give it a try. I hooked it all up uh, only to find out that as soon as I did connect this thing up, the fan on the inverter just went into like this turbo mode. And the there's a red like a caution or warning or whatever it does it's not labeled there's just a red light and a green light on the back the red light was on so that's probably a bad thing it didn't provide the barbecue with any power nothing happened with a pellet grill it looks like it just went into like its fail safe shutdown mode good thing for me is I built this uh, LTO battery a while back and if you're interested in seeing more about that thing I'll leave a link up top uh, you can buy the parts for this thing on battery hookup. Save 5% if you want uh, to do any battery work by using the promo code House Dad Life. That'll save you some money there. Anyway, uh, I built this battery. I've used it already for a booster battery. I use this thing to power my spot welder, which has worked fantastic. And I charge this thing so rarely because it does have a quality bank of energy in it that I always have to relook up what to charge it to whatever if you want to charge it in a pinch uh this battery you could use a battery isolator or just hook up booster cables to your uh car battery if you're out in the backwoods camping or your truck battery whatever that's not why we're here back to it so after hooking this battery up uh to the barbecue and into the inverter everything powered right back up and i was pretty stoked to see this thing go and I wasn't sure if the igniter, that module that heats up to get the pellets to go, was going to draw enough power off. Like that inverter is tiny, it's 300 watt, and it's just your modal master Canadian tire special. I wasn't sure if it'll actually last up, but uh, I, I did film the whole thing, did catch the ignition. And I figured there's probably other people wondering how long would it last? Well, on the initial startup, this thing uses quite a bit more power. I do have an amp meter. I went and grabbed that. It uses somewhere between 14 and 15 amps uh, during its ignition phase to get everything kind of fired up and going. As soon as that is done and the barbecue is on and that igniter turns off, uh, just running the barbecue, piece of cake, it's using between one and a half and two and a half amps. The extra amp is when the auger is augering in more pellets. Other than that, just running the fan is using an amp and a half. So it's about two amps. Now the cell that I built here is 20 amp hours. So that means that I would have 10 hours of just continuous runtime. But the initial startup, I'm gonna say it probably eats off an hour or two off of that. So I think you could comfortably run eight hours with this setup and not have a problem. If you're looking at building the battery yourself, uh, link to whatever you need for parts uh, down below. I'll see if I can still find that Helltech BMS that you see off to the side there. Uh, that's just to balance the cells. But uh, these cells are bulletproof. I think they're rated at something like 20,000 cycles. I had this thing kicking around. I was a little curious. It's barbecue season. It's gorgeous outside. I'm quickly fiddling this YouTube video and then it's outside to plant the garden and do stuff out there and enjoy the nice weather. I'm sure there's others that want to do the same. So for those of you that want a tailgate party, barbecue, or you've got a pellet grill and you just need to convert it, hopefully I've got you covered. If you have any questions about what you see that I hooked up here that I didn't answer, leave in the comments down below. I will do my best to get back to you.